budget, we are demonstrating our commitment to extend the life of the International Space Station, likely to 2020 or beyond. And I've had the conversation with our international partners uh, and have gathered their support for this already. Next, the President has laid out a dynamic plan for NASA to invest in critical and transformative technologies. These will enable our path beyond low Earth orbit through development of new launch and space transportation technologies, nimble construction capabilities on orbit, and new operations capabilities. Imagine trips to Mars that take weeks instead of nearly a year. People fanning out across the inner solar system, exploring the moon, asteroids, and Mars nearly simultaneously in a steady stream of firsts. And imagine all of this being done collaboratively with nations around the world. NASA will accelerate and enhance its support for the commercial spaceflight industry to make travel to low Earth orbit and beyond more accessible and more affordable. Let's discuss the Constellation program. The program was planning to use an approach similar to Apollo to return astronauts to the moon some 50 years after that program's triumphs. The Augustine Committee observed that this path was not sustainable and the President and I agreed. They found that Constellation key milestones were slipping and that the program would not get us back to the moon in any reasonable time or within any affordable cost. Far more funding was needed to make our current approach work. So as much as we would not like, to, like it to be the case, and taking nothing away from the hard work and dedication of our team, the truth is we were not on a sustainable path to get back to the moon's surface. And as we focused much of our effort and funding on getting to the moon, we were neglecting investments in the key technologies that would be required to go beyond. So this budget cancels the Constellation program, including the Ares-1 and 5 rockets and the Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle. NASA intends to work with the Congress to make this transition smooth and effective, working responsibly on behalf of you, the taxpayer. We are absolutely committed to inspiring young people. We want to ignite their passion for science and math, technology and engineering, professions that are critical now and will only grow more important in the future.